This exercise is a supine hamstring stretch with a strap. The start position will be on your back with your legs fully extended and a strap around the foot of the leg to be stretched. If you don't have a strap, you can also use a dog leash or a long towel. From here, you're going to use your arms to pull the leg straight up as far as you can, making sure that the knee remains extended. You're going to stop once you feel a strong but tolerable stretch in the back of the thigh. You'll hold this position as long as you've been told by your therapist and repeat as many times as has been prescribed. Starting position for this exercise is laying flat on your back. Knees are bent to 90 degrees, feet resting comfortably on the table, legs spaced approximately shoulder width apart. The beginning movement for this exercise is to roll your pelvis towards you, flattening your lower back into the surface that you're laying on. As you can see with Keith hands, the pelvis tilts back towards you. The opposite movement for the same exercise is to rotate your pelvis away from you. As you do this, you will feel your lower back lift away from the table. Only go as far as you're comfortably able in this direction and hold for five to 10 seconds. This exercise is very good at both strengthening core muscles, which support your lumbar spine with all activities as well as teaching you where neutral is. As Keith goes to the limit of each movement, he will relax, center position is neutral. This is the posture that you wanna keep your spine in as you're doing any activity that requires moving your body or moving other objects. Hello everyone, Dr. Sam Schroedke here of Physical Therapy and Hand Clinic of Hillsboro with another exciting edition of Technique Tuesday. Um, today I'm going to do a technique for low back pain. Um, I call it a desert island technique because if I were stuck on a desert island, this would be one of the ones I would have with me. Um, I would say for, for people who have the type of back pain that respond to a particular movement, this is, I'd say 70% of people will respond to this one, but that's not everyone. Um, so it's called backward bending. Um, the keys to this exercise are that you're going backward as far as you can. Okay, so I'll demonstrate in two angles here. Um, I should say it can be used for back pain, pain that radiates into the buttock or even down the leg some. Okay, so anyhow, here we go. So you'll put your hands on the small of your back, your hips will roll forward, and then you'll lean backward as far as you can. Okay, there's one. So hips roll forward, lean back as far as you can. So think limbo contest before all the tequila shots, or think like the movie The Matrix. You wanna go back as far as you can. I'll show it from the side. So here we go, hands the small of the back, and then hips roll forward, lean back as far as you can. Hold about two seconds, and then back. Okay, hips roll forward, lean back as far as you can. Farther, 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 hold about two seconds and then back. And typically you try to do it in kind of a rhythmic fashion. You'll do anywhere between 10 and 15 reps every two to three hours, or if it's in extreme cases, you might have to do it every hour. Um, but the key is getting as far as you can. They call that end range. So that's when you're taking the joints as far as you can. Um, as a mentor of mine likes to say, end range is where the magic happens. So if you're just doing a, a middle range technique, it's, it's probably not gonna give you as much bang for your buck. So try to get back as far as you can. Um, Okay, so Dr. Sam Schroke with Physical Therapy and Hand Clinic of Hillsboro with Technique Tuesday, Backward Bending, or call Extension in Standing. Thank you.
Here's a prone press up, which is great for stretching the low back into this extended position. So what you're gonna do is lay, start laying down, face down, and then in this position, you're gonna start on your elbows. You're gonna push up. You can see how this is gonna arch my low back. Go within your tolerance. So if you don't feel enough, you can start pushing a little bit more, bring the hands closer together. You'll feel more of a stretch here. The more further apart you bring your arms, the less of a stretch you'll feel. So push up within your tolerance. And if this isn't enough, you can use your hands to push up and keeping the elbows straight. But be careful with this. This is really gonna be stretching you. I recommend starting on the elbows and then extending the back within your tolerance here. What we're going over now is child's pose, otherwise known as the prayer stretch. And Megan's gonna bend forward. And what we're trying to stretch out is low back, maybe some mid back as well. Um, we're gonna hold this pose for a good 30 seconds. To be able to get one side versus the other, she's going to, you know, after 30 seconds, just get, she'll feel it on this side now, hold it there, and then to release, we'll go back to the other side. And that's how you can get one side versus the other.